G'day folks, Billy Berg here from the MDC Group. Today we've got the Robson XTT Dual Fold Camper Trailer. I've got my son James here with me. Today we're going to set it up and show you exactly how easy it is. So um, let's unhook this baby and get into it. Alright folks, we've unhitched from the car. I've just leveled the camper up with the jocker wheel. It doesn't have to be spirit level perfect, just by eye is fine. And first port of call is your stabiliser legs. Get them down so that way when you're walking in and out of the camper, it doesn't rock around. With your stabiliser legs, grab your handle, pull it out towards you, remembering to support the stabiliser legs so it doesn't fall fly down into the ground because you'll actually smash that foot off. Grab your bar, put it in on top of the nut there, and just wind it down until the foot's firm into the ground. Just takes a bit of weight off the camper. That's all you need to do. All right, dropping your spare wheels is the next step. So simply undo the gold clip there, fold your over centre catch out of the way, the slide the pin out of the bottom there, around the back of your spare wheel, Give it a heave and it'll come down as easy as that. The gas struts will take all the weight off of that. That's all you need to do. All right, folding your bait rack off is a simple process. Pull the gold clips here out of your over centre catches. Drop your over centre catches down. Have someone push the boat rack over, but be on the other side just to support it. It's not that heavy. And you'll find it'll just lock into position and sit there nice and easy. Now you've got the boat rack folded out of the way, it's time to crack it open. So again, take your gold clip off your over centre catch, take it out of the way, and you'll notice the gas struts will take a lot of that weight off already. So it's a simple matter, push it open, use your step, let it come down. It's not going to come down with a bang, folks, so just let it rest down there, nice and easy. Now you've got the front folded over, you'll find two securing hooks on the front here. What they're going to do is hold the top down in position. Just a simple matter of getting a securing hook up like that, pull the top down, loop it in the little loop there, lock it back down, it's easy as that. Alright, as same as the front folks, simply undo your gold clip, pop it out of the way, your over centre catch comes off, let it down, and it comes up by itself. So it's a very simple matter of pushing that up, over out of the way, let it come down, the gas struts will take all of the weight, nice and easy. All right, in your kit, folks, what you're gonna find is two of these support bars. What they do is support the back of the camper here. So it's a simple matter of popping your little clip off like that. Slide this up into the bracket at the back here. Now, I prefer to do the back one first. You can do the bottom one first. It doesn't really matter. Get that little hole under position. Slide your clip through like that. It's very, very easy. Clip it on. Lift the bottom up. You'll find the other bracket just there. Slide the pin in and you're done. All right guys, now we're inside the camper ready to set up. First thing you're gonna find is a tent bow lying here on your couch area. All you need to do is grab it, push it up into position on the roof here. You'll find you've got two Velcro pockets just above your head there. Simply lock them into your Velcro pockets like that. The bar works in position. Last thing to do before the tent's set up is simply push the bar work out. Make sure your canvas is tight, but not too tight. So, simple matter of undoing your lock nut there, Push your bar work out like that, just till your canvas is tight. Lock that in position, and you're just about there. Alright guys, the main tent is set up and done. Took us no time at all. So if you're doing a quick overnighter and heading off the next day, you can have that part done in no time. Now it's time to set the annex up. If you're going to stay for a couple of days or a week and you want a bit more shade and a bit more comfort, set the annex roof up, easy done. Here we are, ready to set the annex up. What I like to do is get my pole work out of the bag and set it up in a skeletal form like this. So as you're setting your annex up, all the pole work's there ready to go. It's easy to grab to. So your ridge poles you lay inside your tent there, so they're all hanging there ready to go. Next is a zip your annex roof on, and as you set the pole work up, everything's laying here, it's easier to get at. Alrighty, with your annex roof, guys, what you've got is zip and Velcro. So it's very easy, find your zip on there, Zip it right the way through to the end. So once you've finished zipping it through, grab your Velcro weather strip, flick it over like that, push it down nice and flat, easy as that. Now 
We've got the main tent up. We've got the annex up. I just want to show you one more feature this tent has. If you're out camping and you want to keep the sun out of the inside of the tent, but you still want to breeze through, or it's raining and you still want to breeze through, the outside flap here has a feature that is really handy. Simply undo the zip like that, lift it up, and you'll notice it's got a little gusset on the corner there. Now with that gusset, grab your little pole. It's got a hook on one end, it's got a spear on the other. So the spear goes up through the top, the hook goes through the bottom there. Just adjust that pole out, just till it's sort of firm. It doesn't have to be too pedantic at this stage. Grab your flat bar spreader pole, sit that over top of the spear either side, spread it out, and you've got a handy little shade there. So that'll stop the sun coming through, keep the window open, and it'll also stop the rain coming through as well, and still allow the breeze to come through the camper. It's a fantastic thing to have. Well, there you go, folks. The 2017 Robson XTT set up in all its glory. Didn't take long at all, did it, James? Yeah, it didn't take long, Dad. No, they don't. They're very easy to set up, folks. So go and get yourself one now. Get out there, escape with confidence. Welcome to the MDC Group. Yeah.